Hi, and welcome Gemini, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your weekly energy reading for the 7th through to the 13th of October. It is a general reading, so always trust yourself in what resonates, leave what does not. If you want a personal reading attuned to your specific energy, reach out. I'll pop the link on this video and in the description box below. There is a coupon code offer running for October. You can get $10 off personal reading with me or any of the distance Reiki energy healing sessions or packages. It's going to pop up over here in a second. All you need to do is take it across the booking form, enter when prompted to get your $10 off. It's Kate sensitive, yeah. Everything else you need to know in the description box below. Uh, I will just let you know my personal readings are quite different. They're deeply transformative. They also have a look at your chakra balancing as well as whatever questions you want answered. They're um, often very inspirational, empowering, and uh, also include an Akashic record check of your past life information. So uh, if you're interested in that, go check it out. And uh, if you're brand new to my channel, big welcome. Awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. You'll get more great content from me. For those that regularly follow my channel, you're rocking awesome. All right, let's get started. So we're going to open up your reading with some ancient wisdom from the Shaman's Oracle. And let's see what you need to know, Gemini. Mm, okay. You've got the Shaman of Loss. Um, beautiful cave art on these, which kind of pertains to something moving out of your life, yeah? And uh, let's pull you up the guidance. I mean, often when we lose something, it's uh, whether it's a relationship, a job, uh, you know, um, it's about, yeah, putting us more onto our path, usually the right path for us. Well, there's a lesson in there to learn. It says Gemini. I am the shaman of loss. I can interpret lost ideas, traditions, beliefs, and meanings. Values you once cherished but have since forgotten. I help you understand what losing something means and teach you the paradox that loss is gain. I help those who are lost to find themselves and those who have lost the path to rediscover it. No matter what you feel is missing from your life, I can help you replace that loss with fresh hope. The universe cannot survive without balance and all things have their opposites. Thus joy must have sorrow, good must have evil, beauty must have ugliness, and gain must have loss. The shaman of loss helps us understand why some things must pass away, why we sometimes lose our path, and why at times all sources of nourishment may seem to dry up. Not all loss is bad. Sometimes we lose things that do us harm. The shaman in this image walks beside us through the labyrinth of time and helps us to rediscover things we believe lost to us forever. Kind of very interesting aspect to ponder. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else comes out in your reading. So, we're going to have a look at your energy with the energy oracle. Mm. First up, you've got appreciation, which is all about appreciating yourself, your own divinity, how amazing you are. Stop and pause and smell the roses, appreciate life, what's working well in your life. Often when that comes out, it's a reminder, if you're looking at things in a negative way, to shift your focus on what is working well in your life. Because you can often just look at things that are missing or a state of lack rather than what's actually um, working well. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you've got the journey card. So some of you are on a beautiful journey of transformation, personal growth. It could also mean you want to travel or you, you've got travel booked. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You've also got your crown chakra, which is about getting into your higher states of consciousness, your connection to the, your divinity, to the divine, your angels, your spirit guides, your spirituality. Mm -hmm. It can also mean that you'll receive more messages from spirit and all sorts of signs and synchronicities. So it wants to fly out. You've also got yin and yang, which is about bringing yourself into a state of wholeness. Yeah, um, Masculine, feminine energies, light and dark sides of self. It's also about knowing when to take action, when to receive and rest. It's that balance. 22 is also the number about taking a leap of faith. You can't fly now. Well, yeah, here it is. Uh, you've got the envy card here, which... Um, in terms of your reading, it feels like it's your your energy. Yeah? Being envious of what other people have got or materialistic things, wanting more materialistic things in your life, which can just create a whole lot of unnecessary stress on yourself. Yeah, um, 
It can be the energies of others, just watch that. But usually it's just about being in the state of lack. All right, what else does Gemini need to know? There's two here. Wow, wow. Bang, bang, bang. Gemini, watch out. You ready? Right next to envy, you've got deceit going on. Mm-hmm. And you've also got a storm warning. So big big wake-up call from the universe, yeah? Often what's happening with these kind of energies is the universe is seeing it before it's going, before it comes into your world, yeah? So um, someone can be deceitful around you. It can be you being deceiving yourself about something in your life, um, not facing it, and suddenly the universe is going to come out, come in, and what happens is when you ignore stuff, right? Um, is that the universe will become it, make it glaringly obvious in your life, which we'll swish it out, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Watch those energies. Uh, we do have a full moon on the 13th to, depending on where you are in the world, the 13th to the 14th of October, yeah. I have done a blog post on it, so I'll pop the link up here. There's some very challenging energies with others. It's going to bring up a whole lot of stuff in other people. Um, it can also bring up deep seated feelings for yourself that you've buried for a long time. That need releasing yeah so just mind be mindful of those energies and even as the the new moon at the end of the month which is around about the 28th is going to be just as challenging as other people so mm -hmm. um, all right it's just all about protecting yourself really uh, let's put you some guidance with the uh, goddess guidance I have to say this has come out for quite a few signs, yeah. Guiding children, Damari, if you have children, they might need extra support at this time. Empathy. Um, it's sitting under the appreciation card, so it's also about appreciating how amazing they are, yeah. Reminding yourself. can also be part of your life path. Wow. Super interesting. Um, this is, I think, only one other signs pulled this, and it was Capricorn and in exactly the same position, yeah. Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Your prayers have been heard. They are being answered. Directly related to being on a transformational journey or travelling, um, if you want to travel and you're not able to, um, that's there. It could also mean that there's a miracle coming to sort out whatever this storm is in your life, yeah. I mean, we always co-create our experiences. By the choices we make, the actions we take, and it is divine help coming your way. Mm. Very similar reading to Capricorn, so I don't know if you're dealing with a Capricorn. Um, you got the message to start delegating, asking help for others, not doing everything yourself, particularly around the home. Mm, there's two here. You got the message to be strong, rely on your strength. You're stronger than you think you are. It'll assure you of a happy outcome and also um, to take some quiet time out for self. Yeah, contemplation, meditation can bring you the answers you seek, can also help you just balance and ground your energies when people around you are being a bit fractious. Mm. Oh, yeah. In terms of the deceit. Can be handled in a fair and just manner. This is the justice card in this deck, yeah, may yet. Um, absolutely. There's always a karmic return, dare I say, to that. That that relates to a karmic return because you've also got the miracle here, yeah. Um, it's about you being in your best self, just protecting yourself and in terms of putting healthy boundaries in place, staying in your integrity. Mm-hmm. Um, you've also got the message to get yourself outside. Balance and ground your energies. You've been inside way too long, Gemini. Directly related to dealing with this storm going on in your life. It totally shifts your energy. It really does. Um, follow me on Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram. I take you on my hikes, my walks. All right, let's so pull you some more guidance with the crystal reading deck. Hmm. There is going to be more joy in your life, Opal. Directly related to you appreciating yourself, valuing yourself and your children. Um, and joy, that when this card comes out, it's also a reminder to inject more fun, adventure and joy into your life, yeah? Instead of just uh, working and doing the hard yards, having some time off and having some fun. Mm, some of you may need to seek a healer. Yeah, new might. Um, particularly with your transformation. Mm -hmm. 
whether it's a psychologist, a counsellor, whether it's natural therapies. It can also mean some of you that is your life path. It's a new path that you're on. Yeah, wow. You are leading, everything's leading you to success. Orpiment, directly related. Some of you, if you're on a spiritual path, because um, the crown chakra is here, yeah, as well as right next to that, you've got the healer. So some of you are on a, on a healing spiritual path to help others in service. Mm -hmm. For others, you're just working solidly towards success in your life. Mm, yeah. Absolutely need to apply self-love at this time, Kunzai. Rely on your strength, pamper yourself, love yourself. Mm, so many similar cards, I have to be honest with you, coming out as, with Capricorn. Um, second message takes some quiet time. Meditation, guided meditations would be awesome for you. Sitting directly under quiet time, dealing with envy. Um, mm -hmm. I'll link in the uh, playlist for guided meditations yeah, on my channel. Mm, so much here about divine support. You've also got source, yeah, universal source energy. Um, it's definitely going to be surrounding you, protecting you. It's directly related to fairness, directly related to deceit. They'll show you exactly where it is. If you don't know and you've got suspicions about people around you, ask them in quiet meditation to show you. Mm -hmm. It's really your angels, your spirit guides protecting you. And you tapping into that energy, yeah. Absolutely divinely protected, Black Tourmaline. Mm -hmm. From the storm. On the bottom of the deck is forgiveness. So you may need to apply forgiveness to a situation to release your energy from it. Someone may ask you for forgiveness uh, for their, for their behaviour, dare I say. <laughs> All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Messenger Oracle. Mm. You've got make the sacrifice. So this is all about in terms of your life path, your career, anything new that you want to start. It's about putting in the effort, the hours, the work. Yeah, because we always co-create. Um, getting really clear about what it is that you want to do, making the effort. Mm. And also love without condition. This is the people that are most important to you, the things that you really enjoy. She's got a butterfly sitting in her hand, by the way. I'll bring it closer so you can see it. Um, you see a tiny but It's actually quite a big butterfly sitting on her hand, um, which also speaks to transformation. Oh, it's two here. Mm. This goes hand in hand with make the sacrifice, yeah? Focus and then act. All about figuring out what it is you want in life, taking the steps you're guided to take, yeah, that, that lead you to that path or the relationship or whatever it is you want to bring into your life yeah you've also got show that you care which is about you being very loving and open despite whatever energies are going on with other people um you might want to push those people to the edge of the circle dare i say focus on those people that are important to you mm -hmm. on the bottom of the deck you've got wash away your burdens which is about releasing your emotions any anxiety or stress all right let's pull you a crowning energy from the light work oracle uh, which is all about your higher states of consciousness, your connection to your divinity. That one wants to come out. Mm, yeah. You've got an invitation to connect, which is um, your angels, your spirit guides want to connect with you. Let's pull you up the guidance. Says Gemini. Love exists throughout our universe and many loving beings that do not belong to the human race exist in worlds beyond the earthy realm. Among these are those that are aware of the spiritual plight of humanity and are willing and able to help us move forward. Unlike those who close their minds because they fear the unknown, you have an open mind and an open receptive heart. Beings from other worlds recognize you as a receptive channel for their unconditionally loving assistance in this world. You will both benefit from this individually and help the planet, so you're being offered an invitation to connect. There are many dimensions to existence and for those that are developing their sensory perception, the senses will not be restricted to being impressed upon by the physical dimension. 
There are higher dimensions that the psychic and emotional nature can recognize, and even more refined dimensions that the mind, even in its most expansive state, cannot grasp, but the spirit knows to be real. The more your sensitivity to subtle energy evolves, the more you become aware of these worlds beyond the world. For some, this will be easy to accept and will inspire interest in learning more. Others may be tentative about exploring connections with non-earthy beings. Great peace can grow in the heart of those who are unafraid and open to the idea of beings that are aware of humanity but not human themselves, who want to help humanity evolve and have the spiritual power to be able to do so. No matter how mixed up and consumed by darkness the world seems at times, there are so many powers of light working to see the earth and humanity through this most interesting time to see us into the new age of spiritual enlightenment. It's all part of the divine experience of life and there are so many forces invested in the successful and loving evolution of humanity. If you've been contemplating life beyond the earth, perhaps talking to the stars or gazing wistfully at other planets, if you've been intrigued by mysterious codes of light and sound, you are sure to be embedded in crop circles or simply have a feeling that you would like to work with beings who are more spiritually evolved than humanity at present, then you are being given a clear message with this oracle. There are other beings in other worlds that are aware of your open, loving attitude in the work you are doing. They are actively responding to your thoughts and feelings. And since we live in a free will zone on earth, we must extend an invitation to receive assistance. Because you are unafraid and resonate from a place of peaceful curiosity and higher level awareness, you are capable of issuing the needed invitation to those that can assist humanity from a place of unconditional love. Of course, there are forces in the broader universe, just as there are forces in the natural world here on earth that would not be so helpful to the triumph of love on this planet. Therefore, we must issue our invitation to the forces of light with a peaceful heart and a wise mind. The invocation below has been carefully crafted to attain that purpose. You're asked to use it whenever you feel the need to do so, knowing that you're part of a bridge between humanity and other loving worlds that want to assist life on earth. They thank you now and they offer their blessings to you and to life on earth in all ways possible. And uh, the invocation says, as a member of the human race, through my own free will and for the greatest good, I call upon all beings that resonate with the quality of unconditional love and wish to assist humanity and earth to evolve on the path of divine love. I ask for the unconditionally loving ascended masters that serve the Christ consciousness, which permission is confirmed for these beings to enter earth's field and assist humanity according to divine will, grace and love. May all beings be happy and free. So be it. Um, you can also simply just call them in. Yeah, you just call in your higher spirit guides and angels um, that are supporting you. And the more you connect into the angelic realm, the more you'll realize how many hundreds of thousands of beings of light are there and angels and worlds beyond worlds. It's just, yeah, mm -hmm. it's pretty amazing. All right, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.